Today we're talking about Prism Yarns. Laura Bryant, uh, who is the creative genius behind Prism, uh, is the original indie. Laura was indie before indie was even a term anybody used. And even though she's well established, has been doing this forever, and really to me sets the standard for hand dyes, um, she's still very hands-on. Um, she's as indie as any new indie dyer popping up. I think sometimes she gets overlooked because of because she is so established. Uh, but I don't think there's a skein of prism that goes out the door without her hands being on it and dyeing it still. So very, very independent as well. Um, we love her yarn. She is so talented. Her background's in fine art. She's a lifelong knitter. And she is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet in this business. She's right at the top of my favorite people. Um, these are for Merino Mia gradient packs. And this one's a little more colorful. Some run the full gradient. They're eight skein gradient packs. You usually don't see them quite this big. And in one of these packs, you get 1,500 yards. That is a lot of yards. This is a super wash uh, merino. It'll make just about any gradient project that you can find online. We found a few for you. Uh, they do have uh, some print patterns that Laura has designed to go with it with some different shawls that you can make that are really pretty. We have these that are print patterns. Um, if you're looking online, go over to Ravelry. Um, Amber O'Brien is a designer that's always good to look at for uh, things like gradients. Uh, we have her Inera wrap, and then there's the Seldon shawl. Laura Bryant designed this heartbreaker, or no, I'm sorry, I'm saying her heartbeat wrap, can't read my own writing, heartbeat wrap uh, from, for the Vogue knitting a while back, and it's really nice. And I also like uh, Espalade, I can't say these words, Espalade from Nim Teasdale. Very pretty. Crocheters. If you're not familiar with the designer Johanna Lindahl, you need to be. She makes some of the best crochet designs out there as far as shawls and things go. Very good stuff. Uh, two of her designs would be great for these packs. Um, Minendor and Tea Flower. Very cool stuff. We'll move over here to the Symphony. These are six packs. This is a little heavier yarn. This is like a light worsted DK weight. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a merino cashmere superwash. You get 700 yards in one of these. And in it includes two patterns. It has um, this double your pleasure or the starfish cowl that we knit. And again, this is a pattern that's included with the six pack. And that's really pretty. Shows off these yarns really well. And she's put together gorgeous color combinations, as you can see. If you're looking over on Ravelry, there's a lot of other nice patterns that would work great for this. Uh, Nim, T Nim Teasdale's Terex is a good choice. Or Jody from Joji Lock. Oh, I cannot speak today. Joji Locatelli. The, the pattern name is Jody, though. And Joanna Lindahl has done another great crochet design that would be good for this called Droplets. So those are some great suggestions as to what you can make from these color packs from Prism. We'll move over here. This is Stuff. Stuff is Prism's signature yarn. Uh, I think she was the first to do yarns like this and it still is the best. Uh, it, it's really, it's such a cool yarn. It goes in between all the different yarns. It comes in great colors. Um, we've had this on and off for years. Uh, her original one was Wild Stuff, which she still has and, and still love it. This is Layer Stuff, which to me is a little more modernized version of the original stuff. It doesn't have the eyelash, but it still has all the fun. Um, just a little more toned down and, and we really love it. Um, and nice one to pair with it is Plume. If you've not come in and, I, I just have to tell you how fabulous this fur feels. It feels like real fur. In my ideal world, we would fill the bathtub with plume and just pay, people would pay us just to roll around in it. So if you're seriously thinking about knitting yourself up into a cocoon and as this year continues to, you know, progress, we all have that need. This would be what you'd want to make it out of. Your cocoon, your sheets, your pillowcases, your pants. I mean, if you could just live in plume, you would be so happy. It is just wonderful. And we've got, you know, they're dyed to match. Um, I'm wearing the Lush Faux Fur Cowl that's trimmed with it. It takes one stuff, two plush. And like I said, all of our plush coordinates with our stuff so that you can do things like this because they really pair well together. 
if you want something a little larger, there's the Goldilocks poncho. And they show it short, or you can go for a big one too. That's nice. Or if you just want an all plume experience, uh, we have a free pattern. Um, we have all these links, all these pattern suggestions linked um, call on our news.swagnip.com. I look for the pop-up cowl and it's knit with just the plume and it just goes around your neck and feels great. The low, the lush faux fur cowl that I'm wearing is also a free pattern and you can get those links again at news.swagnip.com. So if you're looking for indie dyes and want to rock it old school with, the, to me, the original indie, in, original indie, you need to check out Prison Yards.